as a guide for uh, your design, there's also another option called Grid. So in my View tab, you can see that there's Grid under an option. So if I were to enable this, you'll be able to see that Grid appears over here as like a graph format. So this can be used as a guide to create shapes. So I can also go over here and change the grid option. So there's the grid option, which is fine, normal, press OK. And you can see that the grid option actually changes right here. So I'm just gonna go over here into grid spacing. Let's just go to fine right here. And the minimum spacing, let's say I want to say that is uh, 0 0.5 inches right here as the minimum spacing right here for the horizontal and vertical and grid origin. Let's say I want one inch right there. So I want this to start from one inch. So once I do that and press OK, uh, now the grid actually starts from there. So you can see that this is the main grid right here. It starts from one inch right there and the grid is not complete right here. So now I can go over here into more shapes and let's say there are a lot of shapes that I can choose from. So let's go, let's go to favorites. Uh, and I'm going to go into general shapes right here and basic shapes. So basic shape actually pop up. So if I want to create something like a bar chart, I can actually just uh, drag in my square, the, not square, but my rectangle right here. So and you can see that everything snaps into place. I can just drag it around just like that. And I can resize this from the side just like that. Or I can drag around the rectangle. Let's say this is my second uh, uh, graph so I can hold. Uh, shift and then resize it however I want. My another shape right here on the third one. So that's my bar, chart, bar graph right here. Let me just increase this in size uh, just like that. Right there you go. And resize this out. So I'm going to just resize it out just like that. And there you go. That's my bar graph right there. So I can also use my L shape frame right here just like that. So let me just increase this in size. Let me just pull that out. And I can change the L shape as well. So I can just click and drag this out right there. Let's drag it on to the left and on to the bottom right there. And then just click and drag this part out. So I'm just click and drag this out on to the left right here. This is going to resize this and resize this bottom out. So you, you see that there's this uh, bar graph right here. So I can select this out, rearrange this and choose the design that I want. So let's say I want this kind of a design right here with this color variation. And there you go, there's the bar chart with the help of my grid. So that is how you can use grid to as um, uh, as the design guide for in Microsoft Visio. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.